Hi, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today in What's in the Box, we're gonna check out a new product from Catch Power. It's called the Catch Solar Relay. Now, this Catch Solar Relay is um, really quite a simple little device in terms of it being a small package that's DIN rail mounted, but it's got some really big features built in. So some of the things this little relay can do are for solar customers and for customers without solar. So if you have solar power, the Catch Solar Relay can be used in any electrical installation that requires intelligent timing of loads. The Solar Relay has features specifically for solar owners. Uh, you can program those loads based on solar export. So if you want to turn on a larger load, but only when your solar system is exporting more than three kilowatts or energy, then it'll turn on. Now, this is a big plus because you don't want to turn on a three kilowatt or a 4.8 or whatever size element you have in your hot water service, unless you've actually got that much surplus solar. So it's all about soaking up your surplus. You can also program it based on grid voltages. Now, this is a bit of a new one, but if your solar system is tripping out on grid voltage, i.e. the grid voltage is too high and your solar power system is tripping out, um, the solar relay can be programmed to turn on those loads when the voltage gets too high, then turn them off again when the voltage returns to normal. Huh. If you don't have solar, but are looking to, to control loads based on time, Catch can do that as well. So the Catch Solar Relay has a nice intuitive interface that will allow you to easily program the timer to operate exactly as you want it to. So some of the typical loads that you might control could be electric hot water, heat pump hot water, air conditioners, pool pumps, irrigation and stock watering pumps, underfloor heating, lighting circuits, fans, garden watering, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's look at the technical details and then we'll look at the product uh, as I unbox it. Uh, the product's designed for 230 volt AC 50 hertz supply. It's DIN rail mounted. That means it's installed by an electrician in your switchboard. It's a pretty simple installation and the programming is all done by Bluetooth. More on that later. Comes with a five year warranty. It's designed to control a load of four amps. So ideally you would use it to control a contactor and that therefore switches larger loads. It's got two active and two neutral poles and uh, the feature I'm so excited about is the fact that you can control it externally with Bluetooth. Now, um, when I first got this product I thought, oh, well, I guess I've got to connect a special data cable to it to a laptop and a special program and balance a laptop on my knee in front of a switchboard while I'm programming it, but none of that. Actually, I just get out my phone. I grab my phone, uh, hold it in front of the device, launch the Catch Power app, and straight away it identifies any of the um, solar relays within the immediate vicinity. I select the one I'm after and connect to it. From then on, uh, I can program it with all sorts of functions from voltage, time of day, frequency, or direct Modbus RTU control for a whole range of inverters. Uh, so if you're wondering uh, what's the catch, well, you got to buy it. It's it's actually a very reasonable purchase at around three hundred and fifty-seven dollars fifty, and you can buy it from catchpower.com.au directly. So there you go. It's the catch solar relay. Anyway, let's have a look at what's in the box. So this is the catch solar relay. <laughs> it's quite a small box, as you can see, and. Uh, we're going to get into it and just check it out. So this unit here, um, just open it up. Looks a pretty simple setup. Um, what you got here is some warning labels because you are installing a um, energy diversion technology installed isolate all supplies before working on appliance. So this will be uh, stuck on the switchboard to which you've installed this uh, this energy diversion technology. Uh, there's a warranty card, uh, so standard two-year warranty, uh, but if you register your device, you get an upgrade to five years warranty for free, and there's a registration code on the back of the unit that you can um, identify your device with. Really, there's only uh, two more things in the box, so it's a pretty simple unboxing. Um, what we've got here is a current transformer, commonly called a CT. So um, this device here is for measuring current and it can measure the direction of current. And it's a split core, which means that you can clip it over a cable. You don't actually have to 
um, cut the cable to install it. But this would typically go over um, the main conductor coming into your installation so it can measure the exchange of energy uh, with the grid. But there are other possible arrangements which are covered in the installation manual. So that's the, the current transformer. And then this is the device itself, the solar relay. So it uh, looks, uh, you know, it's decidedly simple, really just three lights on the front, but it tells you a lot. Um, when you first turn it on, you see that the power and Bluetooth lights will flash for a little bit because it's actually got a microprocessor in there. So it'll go through a startup procedure and then eventually it'll stabilize and, the, and just the green power light will be on. Um, the Bluetooth light lights up solid when you are connected via Bluetooth using the Catch Power app. Down the bottom here, we've got our AC connection. So we've got our active in, we've got um, active out. Now there's two poles on each of those. So these active outs are controlled. And so these are the ones which are switched. And we've got our common neutral here. So we can actually connect, you know, possibly two controlled loads to this one thing um, with the two actives, two neutrals, which are, uh, and two active outs. On the other end, we've got our signals. So we've got our CT connection, um, but we've also got RS-485 and we've got the, the A and B channels marked here. So RS-485 is a communication layer that um, technologies like Modbus use to communicate. And many of the inverters are listed on the Catch Power uh, website for the solar relay um, are able to be measured. Now, something I've learned about this device that's a little bit new is that it can aggregate lots of different brands of products together as a single export limiting solution. So it's measuring with its CT um, the amount of export. And let's say you've got a five kilowatt export limit. Uh, once that CT sees that five kilowatt export, it will communicate with all of the brands of inverters um, and tell them to uh, reduce their output. So it's a way of aggregating more than one inverter um, collectively to control export limiting. But there's a few other features in the solar relay that I get really excited about, which is frequency control. Now, for those who are purely grid connected systems, it's probably not much of a big deal, almost nothing. But if you're off grid or on a frequency controlled microgrid, uh, as we are here at the Smart Energy Lab, that frequency control means that um, we can use it to turn things on when there is surplus energy on the microgrid. Now, it's a bit of a long story to explain this, but basically, um, in a microgrid situation, we have a common battery bank uh, that services many installations and many uh, PV systems feeding that, that microgrid. When eventually uh, the microgrid battery system fills up, the Inverters that control the microgrid raise the frequency very slightly. They start at 50.2 hertz and raise it progressively up to 52.5 hertz, following the same linear uh, relationship in frequency power response modes as, to, as defined in 4777.2 2015. So um, what that means is that the relay sees that frequency change and can act upon it. So you can set it so that once the frequency hits, let's say 52.5 hertz, which means we now have 100% surplus solar, it can turn on some loads. Uh, we might set it at a lower point, depending on um, what suits your design. And then when the frequency drops back to 50 hertz, it will turn off again. Now you can set periods for run, so what they call hysteresis. So you can say run for you know five minutes and then test again. Um, you can also set lockout times or active times. You can say, well, only use this frequency mode between these hours. Now, there's a, another advantage to that is if you have a microgrid that has a backup generator, predominantly that will be used at night time, most often in winter time when the power starts to get low. And you can lock that out so that the frequency shift that is often caused by generating sets won't cause this device to start turning on extra appliances. You can say only use frequency shift mode when we know there's going to be sun around. So you could set it from you know 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Chances are um, any time of the year that'll be daylight <laughs> and uh, you'll only be doing frequency shifting uh, during daylight hours. So that's a pretty cool feature. You can also set it to be triggered on voltage and uh, that means if you've got high grid voltage uh, you can sort of reduce that by turning on loads. You can set it also to be controlled by, as I said, Modbus uh, and that would 
not just for inverters, you may actually have proprietary equipment that you can talk Modbus. Now, we're probably getting to a, an engineering level here, but uh, you know, using PLCs and other devices, you can talk Modbus. So that's something I've yet to experiment with this device. So um, let's just leave it there. But I can see there's a lot of opportunities for control in this product. It's pretty amazing in a package this small, we've got so much in here. And you know, like I said, the Bluetooth feature is a winner. There's no cable sticking out of your switchboard that you've got to use to program it. Just use your device on your phone uh, and you can program it directly from that. So there you go. That's the Catch Solar Relay uh, unboxing. There's uh, nothing else in the box. There is a little diode here, a little resistor here. Um, I better read the manual to find out what that is for. But uh, uh, there's really a very simple installation, uh, the CT, the DIN rail rounded um, uh, catch solar relay and uh, there's a little resistor here. I think that's probably a terminal terminating resistor for your RS-485 if it's 150 ohms by the look of it. So yeah, I think I've sold that one. Anyway, thanks for watching uh, this What's in the Box. See you next time.